Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to give you an overview of our latest special product in post layouts, which can place your site to the next level, give you better conversion, or simply better fit to design of your site. Let us show you product layouts first, but before we start, we need to add some content in basic settings for WooCommerce. For this, we added special guideline for WooCommerce, which you can find on our blog. And here is first tip for you. You can search in our documentation and blog directly from your admin panel. Let's back to our product. You can select product layout for each product separately or enable global product layout from the options. It will be visible on all products as your main layout. Inner option has priority over global, so, if you want, you can choose separate product layout for each product. Or leave it as default on product pages, so, global layout will be used. The first product layout has name default with sidebar. It's simple product layout, but it has all panels from WooCommerce and from theme. You can see that we have review block here, we can add reviews in bottom part of edit area. Also, we can select brand for our product. If you want to add widgets to product sidebar area, you can go to Appearance Widgets or in Customizer. Inner products have own sidebar area where you can play special widgets from WooCommerce or from Theme. For example, Top Offers or Deal of Day widget. You can see also wishlist and comparison buttons on product pages. You can disable them in theme options. Wishlist and comparison pages are installed automatically by theme on first installation, but if you skipped installation wizard, you can run it again from Rehub Registration tab. Additionally, you can add badges to the product. These badges are visible on product page and in product archives. You can control labels and colors for badges and theme options. Each product layout has also full and short content area. Short area is usually placed in top of page. You can add both content areas when you edit your product. Also, Theme has additional video panel. Just place links of video pages directly in this panel. Each link must be placed from separate line. You can click on enter button to divide lines. 
each product layout has different way how it uses data of products. For example, some product layout show video area instead of featured image. Some product layout show sections instead of tabs. Let us show you overview of all layouts now. Full width in two columns is most universal design which can fit to all kind of sites. There is also three column full width which can be helpful in some cases. By the way, if you build free catalog of digital products, you can set also label free to products. For this, set zero value in price field. Let's see more advanced product layouts, for example, extended full width product layout. This product layout can have very interesting look if you use images with flat background color. You can see such example on our refashion demo. But how to make this? First of all, you need to have image with flat background, then, you need to set the same color for background of page. You can do this in code area panel. There is one trick to know which color is used on your image. To get color of background on your image, you can use any photo editor, even online editor like Figma which is totally free. Create new layer in Figma. Place their image and use color picker to get code. Then, insert code in background panel. Next product layout has name advanced full width. It's best product layout if you need e-commerce style or your products are related to electronics and gadgets. Related products in this layout is placed directly after product area to increase conversion. You can find similar structure on most popular shops, for example on Amazon. Next two layouts are side block layouts. These are the best layouts if your shop is related to digital products. Specification tab is placed directly inside block, and this can help users to make decision or to check compatible systems. You can find how to use images, text tags and colors as attributes in our previous videos. You can control colors of highlighted background in theme options or in customizer via color panel. Side block light layout is totally the same as colored, but it uses light colors. Side block layout has also one hidden feature. When you add something in pros list and review section, it will be published in top of page with check marks. Next product layout is video block layout. Use it if your product is related on videos. To see benefits of this product layout, you must add videos to video panel as we described early in this video. By default, page will show featured area, but you can remove it if you want to use auto-generated thumbnail from video. Please, note. Some videos have no full resolution thumbnail.
video layout has also smart scroll video option. If user play video and scroll, video will be copied in sidebar area. Section with sticky sidebar layout is best if you want concentrate on big photos and image galleries. Great for fashion sites and bookings. Content egg list, content egg auto section and review with blocks layouts are made for price comparison and product review websites. They are working in combination with plugin content egg. Check our previous video to see how to use them. Compare prices layouts are similar to layouts for content egg, but they are made to compare prices of vendors on your site. They can be used only for multi-vendor websites. Check our blog for in-depth tutorial how to use these layouts. Full width layout is great if you have big scenic photos for your products. It will be useful for tour, rental, booking sites. Compact and directory product layouts are used when you need listing style or directory of something. Dark layout is great for game websites, but not limited to it. It's optimized for dark versions of site. In dark layout you can see also another option of theme, image overlay. It's used in background of page. You can set this image in review and image overlay section in bottom of product edit page. If you don't set this image, theme will use image from your featured thumbnail of product. This option is working, not only in dark layout, but also in all layouts with background images. Even in fact that theme has so many very different product layouts for any kind of sites, you can also extend them via custom code areas. You can place their text, HTML or short codes. You can find a lot of examples in our documentation. You can also create template in Elementor and convert it to cached shortcode. There are also many ready templates and blocks in theme which you can use as starter template for your own blocks.
Once you create template, save it, publish and open a new tab. Click on edit button. You will see several short codes. Regular, cached and ajaxed. Use regular if your template has dynamic parts like sliders, carousels. Use cached shortcode if you don't plan to update information in template too often. If you want maximum speed optimization, use Ajax shortcodes. Let us show more advanced and practical examples how to customize your product layouts. For example, we will create dynamically loaded icon blocks with links. First of all, create Elementor template. We need three columns so choose section with three columns. Now, we need also inner section for make proper position of each elements. In left part we will add icon. Let me give you advice. Never ever use default icons from Elementor. They will make your site very slow. Use only rehub icons or custom icons. If you don't know how to use custom icons, let me show you how to do this. Just open any site with free icons. When you download icon, choose SVG format. Now, open SVG file in any text editor and copy content. Place HTML module on page and add icon code inside. Now you have responsive icon. Our block has black layer under text, so, we can enable clack background in section for easy visual testing. Let's add heading module. This module can be used not only for heading, but also for small piece of text. Let's add another text and give them gray color for better contrast. By default, Elementor columns have margin between elements, and we can disable this in settings of column. Add also third heading for link with another color.
Also, choose middle vertical alignment in settings of section. Now, when you create second block, you can simply duplicate block with all settings and replace text and icons. When you are ready with icons, add border from top and disable black background. Publish template, preview it and open a new window. Click to edit template. We will use Ajax shortcode. You will find shortcode in right panel and also classes for triggers, but we will use special ready shortcode for render on view. So, copy shortcode and place it in custom code area of product or in global area as we explained early. Enjoy results. By the way, we need to set proper height in parameter. Add their minimum height of your block. Without this value, you will see some jumping of page when element is loading, so, minimum height value allows to fix this. By the way, we added this icon block in ready templates of Elementor. What if we want to show different panels automatically for each product without copying shortcode to code area? For example, we want to show this panel only for products with special tag. For this, you can use our special conditional shortcode. Theme has many of them which allows to detect category, taxonomy, user role, member type and other. In our case we will need taxonomy detection by tag. So, create new tag. Edit it. In link of browser, you will find key for our taxonomy and its ID. Copy them. Open Customizer and choose Custom Code Areas. Customizer panel is equal to theme options, and these panels are working globally in all products. Now, copy conditional shortcode and place there your own ids and keys. In our case it's product tag and ID 45, as we copy this data on previous step. This shortcode means that anything which you place inside shortcode area will be loaded only if your product has tag with 45 ID. Let's see how it works. 
for now, product has no tags, so, nothing is loaded in custom area. Now, add our tag and you will see that our Ajax shortcode starts to load on this product. You are not limited by using just one shortcode, you can create different panels for different categories, tags and taxonomies, and even for different users and countries. Different type of sites require also different look and styles for archive pages. You can select design for archives in customizer. In product images, you can choose ratio and crop format. Some product layouts are better with custom crop ratio. In theme option settings you can select number of products to show, sidebar visibility and many other settings. Let's try different design styles. Column style is minimalistic style. This format is better if you like simple, clean design which is not overloaded by elements. Grid style is most universal, it has also countdown option. Compact Grid is more simple version of Grid. It's good to use it for price comparison and deal sites, because it can show also logo a best offer. By default, Compact Grid has no button, but in some cases you may need it. Just enable option for this. Directory Grid layout is better if you build directory or catalog. This product layout is better with custom crop ratio. Directory Grid also shows review score and title. Digital Grid is better for any kind of digital products, but you are not limited in types of products. You can also enable quick view option of theme. Quick view option supports also videos and Ajax carts. By the way, you can enable Ajax cart option in WooCommerce settings, in this case, product will be added to cart without visiting inner page. List layout is useful for review sites. It's better to use them with sidebar. List layout has toggle link which shows full review of product. Deal list is similar, but it's more compact. Deal list is made for deal affiliate sites. Also, there is option to enable affiliate links instead inner. Once you enable it, all links from products will go to external affiliate sites if you have affiliate type of products.
you can also customize look of product loop and change colors and sizes for titles and prices. And also as an inner product pages, you have custom code area in product loop, for example, you can use special shortcode to get attribute values and show them directly in loop. God bless you and your sites, good luck with your sales, and see you soon in next video.